Homemade pickled onions are the easiest condiment you'll ever prepare. All you need are five ingredients and it takes 30 minutes to make. Let's get started. I use red onions because they have a good balance of sweet and spicy taste. The colorful purple and white layers makes for an attractive condiment to add to any dish. For more rings, use medium-sized onions. These are about six ounces in weight and three inches in size, or you can go smaller. If you are going to use larger onions, make sure to have them so they fit inside the jars. Other types of onions can be used like white, yellow, or even shallots, or to give flavor dimension, use a mix. The thinner the onion, the quicker they pickle. Trim off both ends. Peel off the papery skin. For a more mild flavor, slice the onions from the root to the stem. This will also give crispier bites. For a more pungent taste, slice crosswise. This will break more cell walls, so you'll get a more sulfurous flavor. To make rings, I'm gonna cut off a little notch to give a flat side. This gives a sturdy base to slice the onions. Slice into eighth inch thick pieces. This will make the onions pickle quicker and not overpower the dish. If you like a stronger flavor, feel free to cut it into quarter inch thick pieces. You could also use a mandolin for even slices. Now you have these gorgeous rings. If you want to reduce the sulfurous taste before adding to the pickling liquid, just soak it in some cold water for 15 minutes and drain well. You can use various types of vinegar for this recipe. It's going to give it that tangy and astringent taste, mainly from acetic acid. Target a product with at least 5% acidity. The choice comes down to flavor profile and color. I use two different types. White vinegar is clear in color, giving a really nice strong pungency and intense flavor. Apple cider vinegar has a nice balance in taste, so the flavor isn't as harsh and has a light golden color. Apple cider is more mellow and tartness and has a nice fruity aroma. I use equal parts of both to balance the taste and add dimension. Rice, white, red, and champagne vinegars are also great choices. And if you only have one kind, just stick to that one type. Just avoid balsamic vinegar because it's going to give an unappealing dark tint. To balance the tartness of the vinegar and sulfur notes in the onion, you need a sweetener. I like honey for a more complex taste. You could also use pure maple syrup or sugar. If using granulated sugar, I recommend adding a third cup instead of a quarter because it's not as sweet as honey. Let's make a concentrated pickling liquid. To a small saucepan, add a half a cup of white vinegar, a half a cup of apple cider vinegar, a quarter cup of honey, and a half teaspoon of kosher salt. For a more mild vinegar taste or longer storage, you can add a half a cup to one cup of water, but you'll need to soak the onions for at least one hour. Bring the mixture to a boil over medium-high heat. Stir to dissolve all of the salt and sweeteners. Cook for about two minutes. For a more crisp texture, you can let the liquid cool down. However, I'm going to add it in while it's still hot. Pour it over the sliced onions. Use a spoon to press the onions down into the liquid mixture. Submerge them so that they have contact with that delicious pickling liquid. If you're making these in advance and you want to make a batch to enjoy throughout the week, you could actually add the onions to jars. These are eight ounces in size. You'll need two or three and just pour the pickling liquid on top and then let them sit for about 30 minutes. Allow the onions to sit at room temperature, checking every 10 minutes to make sure that you press down to submerge them so that they have full contact. This process takes about 30 minutes to pickle. Over time, the acetic acid will dilute the strong sulfurous compounds in the onion, giving a more mellow taste and softer texture. Now you can enjoy these right away, or you can store them in a glass jar in the refrigerator with the pickling liquid for up to two weeks. Wow, these are stunning. In just a short amount of time, the slices have turned a bright magenta pink. They are nice and crispy and have a tangy and sweet taste. Mmm, this is so good. Have you ever wondered how your pickled onions turn from purple to bright pink? Let's find out. Red onions get their purple hue from various anthocyanins a colorful flavonoid pigment found in their cell walls. When exposed to the hot pickling liquid, the low pH environment causes the pigments to turn a radiant pink. The acidic environment also keeps the texture nice and crisp. You can even add the skins, which are loaded with those color pigments, to the jar. Now you know why pickled onions always add a pop of vibrant color to your plate. Looking to add some pizzazz to your pickled onions, Give these flavor combinations a try. Slice up some garlic cloves for extra allium flavor. 
Whole peppercorns for a spicier taste and aroma. Dried whole chilies or red pepper flakes for a lingering heat. Add a sprig of rosemary and thyme or some bay leaves for an herbaceous note. Add cloves, allspice, or cinnamon sticks for a sweet and warm spice taste. Add a combination to customize your pickled onions. Which ones would you add? Pickled onions can make any dish more exciting. Here are some delicious ideas to pair with the tangy condiment. Add a pop of flavor to your avocado toast. Add some to a fresh Greek salad. Make taco night even better by adding them to some blackened fish tacos or slow cooker chicken tacos. I love adding them to some pulled pork sandwiches and don't forget to top them on a juicy burger. There are so many options. Which one is your favorite? For more recipe inspiration to use with the pickled onions, check out my website, jessicagevin.com. See you in the next video.